Hello again crafty friends, it's Heather Rue here and today's video is all about adding color to background stamps. Recently I purchased a set of Karen brush markers and have been experimenting with them. I am loving how intense the color is even after adding water and they have such a great selection of colors. I purchased the set of 60 and pulled out some here that I will be using on today's cards. As you can see, they are all bright, vibrant colors, as that is what I tend to gravitate to. But keep in mind that that set also includes neutrals if that's more your style. Also, keep in mind you do not need to use Karen brush markers to do today's technique. You can use many other markers such as Tombow markers or the Zig Clean Color Real Brush markers. The examples I'm sharing today feature these two new background stamps from Simon Says Stamp. The first one is called Line Background and the second one is called Flower Frenzy. The reason I chose these particular backgrounds is because they have a lot of solid areas. Backgrounds that have a lot of solid area work well with this technique. First, I place the background stamp inside the MISTI. When working with rubber stamps, be sure to remove the black foam piece inside the MISTI. Next, I laid down my cardstock. Notice that I cut a piece a bit larger than my background stamp. This gives you options on what part you want to die cut and gives you leftovers for multiple cards. The technique itself is simple. You simply color the background pattern with markers. The advantage to coloring a background image instead of inking it up with ink is that you can do multiple colors on individual images instead of just blocks of color. Notice how I'm holding the marker at an angle when coloring the lines as well as rotating the MISTI to reach all the areas easily. I went with a random pattern when coloring, but with a background like this, you could do a pattern or do each row a different color. I think an ombre look going from light to dark would be fun too. Once the pattern is completely colored, I spritz the background with water. However, you do not need to add water if you don't want to. You can stamp directly after coloring, but I was going for a more artsy look and I really like how the water added some splotches of texture. You can do a second generation of stamping with the ink that is left on the stamp. I spritzed it again and stamped it to create another piece. I turned the first piece into a card off camera. I cut down a portion of the colored background and adhered it to the front of an A2 top folding white note card. I used the XL Stack Greetings die to cut a rectangle window from the front panel. I stamped a sentiment from the coordinating XL Stack Greeting stamp set on the inside using black pigment ink and clear embossed the sentiment for some shine. For my second example, I did the exact same process as the first. I colored the Flower Frenzy background stamp using my Karen markers, spritzed it with water, and stamped. I finished it off with a similar design as the first card, but used a different sentiment from the same stamp set. I also created a bonus card using the rectangle piece that we die cut from each card when making the window. I adhered them on a white note card and added a good vibes die cut sentiment. Now let's wrap everything up with some video notes. I hope this video has inspired you to try coloring your background stamps to add quick color. It's a great way to add multiple colors to one image. Cut your paper to the size of your background stamp. This gives you options on what portion you want to use for your card. Add water to your colored backgrounds. You can experiment with water and add a heavy amount for an artsy look or less for a more detailed image. Use those scraps. I showed you a bonus card created with a few pieces left over from die cutting. It's a great way to make multiple cards from one technique. Don't forget the envelope. I know I say this a lot in my video notes, but that is because I feel it is so important. Just adding a little stamping on the flap of the envelope can really make your card extra special. As always, thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I appreciate you and your support. I've linked to all the supplies used on today's cards, as well as my blog link with much more information in the description below. Happy crafting, and I'll be back soon with another video.